Welcome to game 10 of the Bob Gibson replay. Um, today they will be facing the San Francisco Giants at Bush Stadium. Um, I have displayed the statistics through nine games for Bob Gibson. Um, record a little bit better, obviously, than the actual. Um, but everything else seems pretty much in line. And I said it's rough last two outings. Um, but... Uh, didn't pitch as well as he's pitched in the past, but uh, let's see what he does today against the Giants. Leading off for the San Francisco Giants is Ron Hunt, the second baseman. 5-3. Um, Hunt is a right-handed batter. 1-14, to he's out. Out. See the double asterisk. Three, the G5, so he grounds out to the third baseman. High Klein. 4 5. He is a lefty. We go to the batter's card. 6 1, single to left field. Willie Mays. Now in 1968, Willie Mays batted 289 with 23 homers. 5-5, five, five. K chance, uh, both righties, that's an 8, it is minus 1 in Bush, so that's a 7, 19, we go to the hitter's card. 2-2, two, two. double asterisk 2, so we have a G4, possible double play. Let's take a look, so the shortstop pivots a 0, he is a 3 ground in the double play. Zero, so anything three and under will be a double play. Four, now let's see what the high climbs we are. It's a four, so let me just double check the rule on that. Pretty sure Klein is okay. So if the roll is less than or equal to the BR rating, and the runner is safe at second, and we have. Four to three. So two outs, and we have Ty Klein at second, Jim Ray Hart. Six one, K chance for a righty. Nineteen to go to hitter's card. One five, fly up center field. Leading off for the Cardinals. Let's see here. Is Lou Brock, and he'll be facing Gaylord Perry, who had a record of 16 and 15 in 1968 with a 2.45 ERA. 1-4 range play. 3-2 ground out to the second baseman whose range is a three, four, it's a failed range. Let's see what that was. It was a G4. I believe that's just an S4. Yep, that's just an S4. Single for Brock. And let's take a quick look here. The K 
Okay, so let's see if Brock gets the lead. His ATT is a 9, the hold rating of Perry is 0. He does get the lead. So his stolen base will be a 17 minus the 2 by Perry, but a plus 2 by Dick Dietz. So that makes his a 1 to 17, and he's safe. That's a 10. So Brock steals second. Flood is the batter. Like I said in the previous video, we're not going to do the strategy rolls. Um, and I, I like the dimension of the strategy rolls, the dimension it brings to the game. But at this particular time, I'm going to stick with at it. So we got runner on second. No outs, good flood. 6-5. Hitter's card. 3-2. Versus a righty, double the left. Brock scores. Flood gets the RBI. Roger Maris is the batter. 2 1, hitter's card. 1 5, fly out to left. Orlando Cepeda, 2-5, possible throwing error, 5-1, fly out to right field. Just want to double check, I don't think there's any, we don't have a throwing error chance for fly out to right field. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so runner on second, two outs for Tim McCarver. One five. He is a lefty, so if it's a one to five, it's an S1, which it is not. We move on to the hitter's card. Four two, ground out to the third baseman. So one run for the Cardinals. It's a one nothing game. On a double by Kirk Flood that brought in Lou Brock. Davenport, Marshall, and Dietz against Gibson. 4 2. K chance. 7 8 minus 1 a push. So now we go to hitter's card. 3 2. Line out to the shortstop. Dick Marshall, or excuse me, Dave Marshall. 4-3, walk chance versus a righty is a 13, 17, and again, it's a minus 4 in Bush, so that would have brought it down to a 9. 1-2, one, single, past the second baseman for the left-hander, Dave Marshall. Dietz is the batter. 2 6 K chance versus a righty is an 11. Minus 1 at push is a 10. It's a 3. Struck him out. Al Lanier is the batter. Got a 1 4 K chance versus a righty is a 7. Minus 1 in push is a 6. It's an 11 hitter's card. 5 3. Versus a righty, it's a single pass to shortstop. So we got an S6. Let's see what Marshall does as far as advancement. An S6 on first and third. If he's a five or six, two out at one. So that would be a four to six. Marshall, see if he's got any speed. No, his BR is a three. So he's going to go to second. First and second with Gaylord Perry up two outs. Three five. Double asterisk. That's a three. That's a ground out to the third baseman. Shannon. Javier and Dale Maxville will be going up against Gaylord Perry here in the top. In the bottom of the second. 
two six possible wild pitch. No wild pitch. Stand that pitcher's card. Four two. We have a stadium play. Five five. Fly out to left. Javier will be the batter. 3-3. Three, three. He's a righty. K plus, so you add 10. 17 minus 1 at Bush is 16. It's a 17. So no strikeout. Javier's card. 4-3. We got a question mark 8 versus a righty. It's a 5. So we got a single to center field for Javier. One three, batter's card. Four one, fly out to left. Gibson's to batter. Five five, range play at the stadium card. One one, double asterisk six, is a G six. So we check the range of the shortstop, who is Hal Lanier. He's a four. He makes the play. So after two, we have a one nothing game. Giants will have the top of the order. Ron Hunt, Ty Klein, and Willie Mays. 5-2, possibly chance. 1 6 G6. The shortstop is Maxville. It's an 8. It's a 15. He makes the play. 8 okay, Ty Klein. Excuse me. Ty Klein's the batter. We got a 1 4 K chance. First, a righty is a five, minus one's a four, it's a seven. We go to the hitter's card. Six, three, ground out to the pitcher. Willie Mays up against Bob Gibson. Five, four, K chance, eight, minus one is a seven in the stadium. It's a nine, so we move the Mays card. 2-6, single to left. Jim Ray Hart. 4-3, walk chance versus the right. It's a 12, but it's a minus 4 at Bush Stadium. Brings it down to an 8. It's an 18, so we go to the hitter's card. 3-1, ground out to the third baseman. So Gibson makes it through three. Now for the Cardinals, we got the top of the order. Brock, Flood, and Maris up against Gaylord Perry. Six, three, walk chance versus the right. He's a 12 minus four at Bush is an eight. It's a four, so he walks him. See if he can get the lead. It's a nine. He gets the lead. And we know that it's a 17 to steal second because we have a minus two hold for Perry and a throwing arm dictates of a two. So 20. I think we've got to check something specifically for 20. I just wanted to double check that all rolls of a 20 are caught stealing. Anyways, but Brock's range wouldn't have gotten that stolen base chance anyways. Kurt Flood. So Brock's caught stealing. 
possible hit by pitch, 5 and a minus 4, so a 1, it's a 2, so no hit by pitch, 3-3, three, three, ground out to shortstop, and Roger Maris to batter, 5-4, hitter's card, you don't have a fatigue parry. 1-6, fly out to left. So, Perry makes it to the through the third. We move on to the fourth. Giants have Davenport, Marshall, and Dick Dietz. Catcher. Okay, top of the fourth, Jim Davenport. Let's see what he can do. 3-2. Um, we got an, an out. 2, it's a G4, so ground out to second baseman. Davenport, Dave Marshall. 1-1, one, one, we have a ballpark card here. 1-5, that's a rare play. Let's get the rare play chart out. So anytime there's a blank space, these are considered rare plays. You go to a rare play chart. We have no runners on base. That's, we have no runners on base. So let's roll this and see what this comes out to. We got a 1-2. Pitcher grabs shoulder after pitch. Injury check for pitcher. I'm not going to do injuries in an, in a as played replay, and uh, Bob Gibson's the star here, so uh, I'm going to ignore that one. Because as I said, injuries, there's no reason to do that because we're doing an as played. Um, so I'm going to restart the whole process here again. Um, we'll start from the hitter's card for... I believe that's what we would do. If I did anything wrong, let me know, but I'll start from the, hitter, the pitcher's card. Excuse me. 6-6 six, six walk chance. 13. So Marshall walks. Dick Dietz. 4-6 K chance versus the righty is an 11. It's an 8. Struck him out. We do have a minus 1 to push, but that only brings it down to a 10. Hal Lanier, two outs, runner on first, 5-4, K chance, 7, minus 1 at Bush is a 6, and we roll a 6, so another strikeout for Gibson. So we move on to the bottom of the fourth. We have a one nothing game with the Cardinals ahead on a Kirk Flood double that drove in Lou Brock. See what we can do here for the Cardinals can grab any more runs. We have a 3-5. That is a another ballpark. 1-2. We have a ground out to the second baseman. 3-2. Tim McCarver, the left-handed batting catcher, with a 1-1 K chance versus a righties of 4. Minus one, it pushes a three. It's a nine, so we move on. Six, three. We have a single to right field for McCarver. Mike Shannon, the third baseman. Two, one, batter's card. One, three, G6. Let's see if we got a double play. So his GDP is a 2, that's a 0, the pivot man, and that would be the second baseman, and that is, he's a minus 1, so that would be a 1, it's a 3, the first base runner is McCarver, his is a 3, so I believe if he matches it, he makes it to second, let me double check that. The 
the roll is greater than the runner's BR rating, which it is not, oh, well, it matches it, then the runner is out of second. Less than or equal to the BR rating, the runner is safe at second. His BR rating was at three. So he's McCarver's safe at second, and the batter is out. Carver's at second. Shannon grounds out to short. So we got a runner on second, two outs for Julian Javier. 1 6, K chance versus a right. He's a 7. Minus 1 at Bush is a 6. It's an 8. Roll on the hitter's card. 5 2. That's a. Uh, Question mark nine versus a righty up to ten to be a hit. It's a nineteen, so he flies out to right. So they can't take advantage of that question mark nine, which is usually an extra base hit. Um, so the Giants now have Gaylord Perry, Ron Hunt, and Ty, Ty Klein. Okay, let's see what Perry can do against his fellow pitcher. 3 2. Oh, that's an out. A 3, so we got a ground out to third. Ron Hunt's the batter. 5 1, possible hit by pitch chance. Hunt's 28. I haven't seen that. <laughs> so he's definitely hit. That makes me wonder how many times he was hit. In 1968. Wow. I'm going to find out here. One second. 25 times Ron Hunt was hit by pitch in 1968. But in 1971, he was hit 50 times. What's the HBP on that? If anybody knows, put it in the comments. Ty Klein. 1 4 K chance versus a righty. It's a 9, so we don't have that. 4 1, single to right field. Let's see if Hunt, I believe it's a 5 to 6. Hunt's a 3. So I think Hunt just stays at second. Let me check the runner advancement chart. Single to right. Plus 2. So that would make, if he's a plus two, that would make Hunt a five because he's a three. Let's see what the arm in right field is. It's zero. <coughs> so let's go to the throw chart. Four, two. Rolls less than or equal to. Okay, so he advances because it's a four and he's a five. So Hunt advances to third. We got first and third, one out for Willie Mays. Three, five, double asterisk. I would say the infield is in. For a G6, so let me check the charts on this. Okay, with an infield in, the BR rating of the runner on third gets decreased by two. So Hunt's a three, goes down to one. He's not going to go anywhere. And the only plays for the infield are home at or first. So they're just going to make the play at first. Line will go to second. So we got second and third with two outs for Jim Ray Hart. Three, five, double asterisk. Six, we got to fly out to right. Maxville, Gibson, and Brock. 
will be the batters for the Cardinals. Three one righty K chance to nineteen. So nothing on that. Five five G five grounds out to third. Gibson six one. He's a righty, so we got a double asterisk. So three to ground out to third. Lou Brock. We made it on twice. And it's with a walk and a single, but uh, did have a stolen base and scored a run today, but also caught stealing. 3-6 K chance, 12. Minus one at Bush is 11. It's a 7. Perry strikes out Brock. So now for the Giants, we have Davenport, Marshall, and Dietz up against Gibson. Let's see what Gibson can do here in the... Top of the six. Five, six possible wild pitch chance, but there's no runners on base. So let's roll again on the pitcher's card because you're considered foul balls. Six, three, walk chance, 20, no walk. One, five. Pop out to the first baseman. So any failed wild pitches with no runners on base are considered foul balls. So let's reread that again. All failed wild pitches with no runners on are considered foul balls. Roll again on pitcher. Okay, so we did that. Dave Marshall's the batter. 1-6, possible error on a grounder. 4-6. We had a double to right field for Dave Marshall. He's two for two today. He made it on base three times. We got a 264 in 1968. Dick Dietz is the batter. 2 1. He's a righty K plus. So he goes to, to a 21 minus a 1. It's a 6. Struck him out. Gibson. Gibson struck him out three times today. Alanier, 4-2, K chance, 7 minus 1 is a 6 in Bush, it's a 20, so nothing there, 5-4, line out to the shortstop, so Gibson shut out innings through 6, now the Cardinals only holding on to a one nothing lead here, they got Flood, Maris, and Cepeda. One five. Flood is a righty. So we got nothing on that. Gibson. Move on to the hitter's card. Five four. Ground out to the third baseman. Oops. Confused here. Okay, yeah. Let me just double check that. Five, four, ground out to the third baseman. Roger Maris is the batter. Two, four. He's a lefty, possible walk chance to 10, to 17, nothing there. 2-5, double the center field for Maris. Orlando Cepeda. 2-3, possible K chance, no, nothing there. 1-1, one, one, double asterisk 4. That's a ground out to the shortstop. Tim McCarver. K chance. Nothing there. See if McCarver can get him in. 
double asterisk two. That's a ground out to the second baseman. So the Cardinals holding on to a slim one nothing lead with Gaylord Perry, Ron Hunt, and Ty Klein, the batters, coming up for the Giants. 5-1, possible hit by pitch chance, 0-0, zero, zero, so nothing there. 6-6, six, six, fly out to right. Two four, walk chance twenty. Minus four at Bush sixteen, but still seven. So Hunt walks. He's Hunt can get on base between the hit pitches and the look at that twenty eight hit by pitches. And versus lefties a twenty six walk. Good lead off hitter. All right, Ty Klein. See what he can do. Three five. So we got a double asterisk. Got a one, so we're gonna fly out to center field. Willie Mays. Got a four three possible walk chance. Versus a righty, it's a sixteen minus four. Bush is a twelve, but it's a ten, so he walks Mays. Runners on first and second, two outs for Jim Ray Hart. 6 4 K chance. It's a 1 9 struck him out. Okay, so we move on to the bottom of the seventh. Shannon, Javier, and Maxville up against Perry. So ever since that run in the first inning, we have nothing scored for either teams. Shannon 3 1 versus a righty. K chance 11. It's a 5. Minus one if Bush is a 10, but struck him out. Julian Javier. 6-3 walk chance, no walk. It was a 12. 6-6 six, six, fly out to right. So we got two outs. Dale Maxville's the batter. 1-1, one, one, K chance, it's an 11, nothing there. 2-6, he's versus a righty fly out to center. Okay, so we are on to the eighth with Gibson holding on to a one nothing lead. Davenport, Marshall, and Dietz be the batters for the Giants here. Three five. That is a double asterisk. Two. That's a ground out to the second baseman. Dave Marshall. Five five. K chance. So one. Gibson strikes out Marshall. Let's see if he can get Deets for the fourth time today. 4-1. Nope. Move on to the hitter's card. Gibson is fatigued. At least I don't think so. Almost. 1-4. Double asterisk 2, so he grounds out to the second. Gibson, Brock, and Flood. Do we bring in a pitch hitter for Gibson and let the closer, let me take a look at this, the closer Joe Horner come on in the ninth. That's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to bring in Bobby Tolan to hit for Gibson. 
Horner, Horner is throwing hard in the bullpen. Let's uh, see what Tolan can do. Against Gaylord Perry. 6 2. He's a lefty. Move on to the hitter's card. 2 6. Single to left. For Tolan. Brock can do. Just gonna see potentially if I could have Brock. No, we're gonna have Brock hit away. Three six. We don't have K chance. Twelve minus one at Bush is eleven. So 10, struck Mao. So Brock strikes out. He can't come through. Let's see if Kirk Flood, who has the only RBI of this game, can do anything here. 4-4. Four, four. Home run chance. Flood is a righty. So we got a 7. He clears the pitchers. Flood home run versus a righty is a 1-6. So he clears the pitcher's card, which is a seven. One to six, we got a homer. Twelve. So I believe that's just a fly out. Check that. I mean, it doesn't. Uh, okay, so if either roll fails, you proceed as you would a blank space. So that it did fail the hitter side. So then we would move on to the hitter's card. Six three, G three. So, I ground out to the first baseman. No real chance for a double play because blood is to one minus one. But let's see, we got a BR rate of Tolan is. He's a five. So one. So Tolling gets to second. They take the play at first for Flood. Roger Maris. I just want to confirm on that home run chance for Flood because we had a HR question mark. So as it reads in the rules, it's possible home run. Roll one D20 on pitcher's card versus side of the hitter in the HR section, which we did. If D20 is a range, and treat as a home run result, requiring 120, 1d20 to roll for the batter, which we did. If either roll fails, and the, it failed on the batter's roll, you proceed as you would a blank space. So we're fine on that. Either way, it's an out. So we got a runner on second. Two outs for Maris. 1-6, possible K chance. Versus a righty, seven minus one at Bush, six to five. Struck him out. So Gibson went eight. Joe Horner, the closer, will be coming in to try to close this. Up against Lanier, Perry, and Hunt. Now I know we'll have a pinch hitter for Perry. So I think that will be, take a look at that who the Giants have available on the bench. So let's see what Lanier can do first. 5-6, possible home run chance. He's a righty, 1-18, so he clears that. Oh, some, oh, but he's a zero, so there's no chance for him to hit a home run. He didn't hit any home runs in 1968. So then we move on, as we just read that rule again, move on to the hitter's card, treat it as a blank space. 
three, four, double asterisk five, it's a fly out to center field. Giants need a pinch hitter to hit for Perry. That was a close call. We have, I think Lou McCovey was available if I saw on here. Yeah, let's bring in Willie McCovey. He had 36 home runs in 1968. Didn't start in this game, but he's going to go up against the lefty Willie, Willie McCovey. So we have a lefty lefty matchup, Horner versus McCovey. 2 5. K plus. He's a lefty. So it's an 8, so we had an 18, minus 1 at Bush is a 17, it's an 18, so it clears part of what McCovey can do. 5-5, five, five. pop out to the shortstop. Down to the last at bat, Ron Hunt versus the lefty closer. Joe Horner, 2-4, K-Chance, he's a lefty, 4, minus 1 at Bush is a 3, it's a 3, strikes him out. So Horner gets to save on a shutout here. Gibson goes a great 8 innings, let's see what his stats are, so he goes 8, gives up 1, 2, 3, 4. Six. Six hits today. No home runs. No runs. One walk. Three walks. How many strikeouts he had? Two, three. Six strikeouts. Nice win. Horner gets the save. Perry gets the loss. Um, Gibson moves his record up to six and three. The lower his ERA. We'll have the stats on the next start. Um, thanks for joining. So a nice one nothing victory for the Cardinals and Bob Gibson in real life back in May 28, 1968. Um, the Giants won this one three to one. So at that point, Gibson looks like he probably brought his record down to three and five. And as I said earlier, he had a little struggling period there during this time. So uh, thanks for joining.